Let's get the tally. NFC East odds. Eagles, even money. Cowboys plus a buck 45, and then Giants and Commanders at 10 to 1 lottery tickets. I mean, I know the answer to this, Brew, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Brew, are you surprised the Cowboys are not the favorites, even though they're not in this uh, supernatural funk? They didn't have to move on from all their coordinators. They didn't fall apart at the end of last season, and they won more games, and they both were embarrassed themselves in the playoffs. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I'm surprised that you and anyone else with breath in their lungs thinks the Cowboys should be favored in the NFC East. I mean, as you and you, you he, he threw, threw this out there what? hoping I wouldn't say what? it. First of all, no one's repeated as champion in an FC. I don't, that in doesn't matter. Years. <laughs> that does not Actually, matter. It, it, well, last year when I picked the Eagles to repeat, huh? for some reason no, it mattered. I, ne- I never brought table. up that silly point. You I would bring it up and be that. like, I'm doing it despite the fact that in 2005, Washington there, couldn't repeat there or whatever are it was. Better Answers though yeah. better, better. There's I better so. evidence. All right, <laughs> starting the Cowboys with that have a worse roster. All right, they they lost two of their top offensive linemen. They lost their best running back and replaced them with mm-hmm. an yeah. elder citizen. All right, uh-huh. they they uh, they have their coach, their defensive coordinator who's new, mm-hmm. and their quarterback on lame duck deals. All right, and then I look at the Eagles. They added. One of the top running backs in the league. Lost their All best, right? lost their center. They'll be fine. They're the, moving Cam He's Durgan's a Hall over. of Famer. Fine. Maybe the Offensive best ever at what he does. Offensive linemen get replaced. All the That's time. what you just said. They Dallas still, lost two. But and they the, lost two. Oh, okay, the Eagles lost one. Uh-huh. And they're going to, they will, they still are going to have one of the best lines in the Yo, league. How about the defense? Defense, oh. C.J. Gardner Johnson, welcome back. That's going to fix led this. You the league in interceptions show, show the when you play with us. Show the defensive numbers. That's going to C.J. Gardner. Oh, C.J. Gardner not, Johnson not is going to fix that. Oh, let him should get Chris finish, Jones because I got more. Okay. I got more. Yeah. Bryce Huff. Did they not draft new players? Did they not get a new actual competent defensive coordinator? Like, like the, these rankings don't mean anything. They mean nothing. Not to mention. The Cowboys actually lost people and lost their actual literal defensive coordinator who built that defense from the ground up. It's amazing that Nick wants to highlight that the Eagles lost coordinators, but not highlight that for the Dallas Cowboys. Please make that make sense. Ten sacks last year. Reddick Reddick is older. Huff got ten sacks last year coming off the bench. All right, come on. He's going to do damage. He's going to do damage. He did. He didn't start. I mean, he's he going to do damage. Rush special. All right, Jalen Carter is going to be better. Okay? And Cooper DeGene, you know you oh, like him. I do you like him. You've been seeing him dunk on yeah. YouTube, all yeah, those well, highlights. Yeah, he'll, and then, and then Quinion Mitchell. Yeah, I like, like their draft. Like, they had a great draft. I like draft. their draft, but that's they, not going to fix 30th And you know as well rank. as anybody that rookies can play well yes. in the defensive back. I, I, I understand. So, that's why they should easily be favorite. Yeah. They, they, I know you're not uh, they, they drinking should be, the Kool-Aid. They should be co-favorites. Co? They're, yes. Do, do, oh they're, they're did you just agree that Philadelphia qu- got, they made moves that made them better, at least on paper, and Dallas made moves that made them worse? Yes, Dallas, but they, yes. Dallas was way better last year. Ex- it, way better? Yes. That, that, that's exa- exactly right. There are the same number of strengths and weaknesses on both of these teams. There are questions about Dallas's depth and the losses from the offseason. There are questions about coordinator changes. And it's like the new defensive coordinator is what, Mike Zimmer? Yeah. He's done it before. It's and not, he's on a one-year deal. It's, but it's, I, what, everyone's on a one-year that? deal. Everyone's but on a one-year new. deal. The, but he's new. But he's new. Go ahead. It's, I'm just saying like, – it's plus 110 and plus 140. These teams are the same. It's going to come down to who wins when they play each other head-to-head. Which, by the way, that's what's and, gonna and come also down to. Dak, it's going to be one-to-one. Dak rolls yeah, against the – I don't know if we have time to show it. Dak rolls against the NFC East, and Jalen Hurts does not. That's another reason. Like, this is just – Danny, you're right. Oh, my God. This is just oh, – okay. I got more. Yeah. This is – this is all so, such nonsense. Jalen Hurts rolls in the playoffs and actually dominates in the uh, Super Bowl, unlike Dak Prescott, who's uh, never even made it to an NFC championship game. Listen, this idea that the Cowboys are equivalent to the Philadelphia Eagles this season is just utter insanity to me. Utter insanity. The Cowboys have objectively gotten worse from every angle. Every angle you want to look at it. Offensively, 
defensively, coaching wise, uh, just the uh, the the uh, personality wise, the leadership wise. I mean, Micah Parsons is only getting worse as a leader. Like last season, they at least had some motivation there's this question of what can we achieve they had high hopes that they can truly achieve big things they felt that they were as good as the 49ers and then they got rocked absolutely rocked by the Packers and then Micah comes out and says yeah we're not good Dallas Cowboys better make moves and 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 get better players that was Micah's own words and believe me everyone on that team hears that but now the Cowboys didn't get better. They didn't get better players. So if the leader of that team says that they were not good enough, that they better get better players to be better, and now the Cowboys didn't do that, why do we think Dallas Cowboys are going to be better? How does that make sense? And now the Eagles objectively gotten better. They, they absolutely got better. They have a better OC, a better DC, better defensive players, better offensive players. Like, I don't know what you want. And you're expecting the Eagles to not be better now? To play better? That's absurd. Absolutely absurd. It makes no sense. And no, the, the, the Cowboys got embarrassed in their playoff game. They were at home. They were the ones that you said that were going to the Super Bowl. That Dak Prescott was the MVP. And he got rocked. Both him individually and the team as a whole. He looked shook. That game was a disaster. Jalen Hurts dislocated his finger the week before, okay? Um, you had a bunch of players who were playing on their last leg, and then they retired. They were done. They had nothing left in the tank. They were done. A.J. Brown didn't even play. He was injured. And the offensive coordinator. I mean, everything was a disaster from that point. So they weren't embarrassed. They just they just made some bad decisions and it wasn't a, it wasn't a good playoff loss. Don't get me wrong. I mean it's not it was a bad playoff loss, but they didn't get embarrassed from that viewpoint. They were literally just in the Super Bowl the year before and they made it back to the playoffs. Something majority of teams don't even do. So let's just let's just tap the brakes there here. That's just, it's just nonsense, absolute nonsense. So. Uh, th- th- this false equivalency of the of the, the Cowboys and, and how they, you know, th- th- for some reason, all the changes the Eagles made, it's going to make them worse. But then you have the Cowboys who also had to make a lot of changes, lost players, new coordinator, and yet somehow it's not going to affect them negatively. Please make that make sense because I cannot. It's utter insanity. The facts are clear. The Eagles are the best team in the NFC East, without a doubt. There's just no doubt. The Cowboys are not that good and grossly overrated, especially because everyone wants to use their last season as a barometer for how good they were, and the reality is they only beat bad teams last year. They only beat bad teams last year, unlike the Eagles, who actually beat playoff teams, like, hmm, the Super Bowl winner, Kansas City Chiefs. Hmm, the Buffalo Bills. Like, what do we what do we talk about? They beat the Dallas Cowboys. They beat the Miami Dolphins. They beat all these playoff teams. They beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers when they were actually fully healthy. They beat the Rams. They beat all these playoff teams. That's not at all. Not at all. What the Dallas Cowboys can say. So Enough with this nonsense of like they scored the most points in the NFL and had 12 wins. Yeah, and then they got rocked by the Green Bay Packers. Congratulations. But those are just my thoughts. I would absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think between the Eagles versus the Cowboys? Who do you think is going to win the division? And who do you think should be favored to win the division? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, Either way, let's get in some discussions, let's get in some fights, but ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of, and I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much, and see you next time.